Michael here, and in this video journal, I'll start working on the necks for the bodies that I have built in my previous video journals. Keep watching. This is a genuine mahogany board that will become mandolin neck. And as you can see, I've cleaned up the end so you can really see the grain going on here with it. It's not a quarter sawn piece, but that's okay. So what's going to happen is, and this is the same process that I did with the 4x4 or the 16 quarter posts that I used to make the mahogany uh, necks that you'll see up here in the corner screen. The first thing, of course, is to mill the, mill the board smooth all the way around. Then cut it down the center. And then one piece is turned around like this, which gives us a nice mirror grain. So we have grain going this direction, kind of, you see kind of a V-shape there. This helps uh, release, relieve any internal stresses that the, uh, the board might have. So that's what I did with these, with these neck blanks that you see here. First thing I did was to mill them, and then I uh, milled up some mahogany and some nagal and some purple heart and laminated them together. Glued them up, here's the glue set up here, and then uh, after they were glued up and dry, I milled them down, and then out of each one of those neck blanks, I ended up with being able to cut out two necks. Of course, if you can see the, the spaces here in the center, that's an awful lot of mahogany, this little section up here and these little pieces that were out of the middle that we waste when we make a a solid neck. Around. So that one 4x4 four four, uh, post yields two neck blanks. The next step will be to start working on the peg head overlays with the M logo and then uh, milling the necks down with the truss rod channels and, and then gluing everything on.
There's one of them in. Okay, I've got my neck blank in the vise. Before I do that though, I need to clean on my pig head overlay that we've been laid. And I've trimmed the length where it meets the blue line here on this back side and I'm going to trim this egg head overlay so that it fits on there. Alrighty then. There we go. I'll move the neck to the end of my bent so I can get some clamps around it. Before I clamp the peg head onto the uh, peg head overlay onto the peg head, I went ahead and put my clamping call on there and marked little holes that I have pre-drilled in there so that I'll know where to drill through my positioning pins when I clamp this in place.
smooth and the pancake glued on. You can see the amount of neck gain, which is three eighths. Now I need to get ready to do the rest of the neck. And the first thing is going to be marked the 14th fret location. I could measure this, but I have one of my fingerboards here and the nut will be right there. And so my 14th fret location is here. Heel, join the body at the 14th fret. Now my tenon is 7 eighths of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and mark one inch. Give myself a little bit of wiggle room. I've aligned the, the router so that its center line is, you know, mates up with this. I actually used a little to that. So I'll know how far to go down. And now it's just simply a matter of routing out here. Rod slot, just rod. And we've got the depth right. Make sure everything's right before we take it out of the. And we'll have a little piece of veneer that we'll glue on there. 
at a little stage. Air rotted in. Got one of them done. No, it's not the UK router. This is the phone router. Stop at the top. Keep it from going any further than where I need to be. Find the neck angle that the body will join with. So I've kind of manufactured a longer sliding bevel so I don't have to guess. I've got a 3.5 millimeter shim at the saddle location, and I've got my sliding bevel flush up against the top. And at the angle here, I'm going to just tighten it down. Next step is to mark the location for the barrel nuts. This is what we use to attach the neck to the body it's on the inside. I've made a little plexiglass guide I've used for all my builds that allows me to position the, the holes where I need them to be. And I want that side of that barrel nut to just barely be as close to the, the line that I just drew as possible. I'm just got a little and then so I can just slide this a little bit closer down here because the neck has that angle on it.
that's it for this video journal, the next part one. Next video journal will be part two of working on the next. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. You can also like me on Facebook.